cold in the winter time. I done heard things, but never mind. Yeah, niggas say the truth, but I'm living mine. Niggas say the truth, but I'm living mine. No, it gets cold in the winter time. Yo, what is up, Bright Squad? Welcome back to Brian's World. Everything and everything can happen. So, we got another Brewster reaction, and this one's called uh, New Neighbor. I kind of feel like a still, well, we're still new to the apartment, so just. But everyone around us is kind of cool. I mean, I thought the person above me thought his girlfriend was an asshole, but I guess she's nice. But I, I think I met all my neighbors around here. They're not too bad, hopefully. I think the people upstairs? I don't really know them too much, but majority of the, the neighbors here, they're not bad. But anyway, like I said, I'm going to try to cut down my talking and pausing. I'm going to try my best, but it I, honestly, I just it's just who I am. You just got to accept it or unsubscribe. I don't know what the fuck you tell you. You're like, I just talk, okay? Jesus Christ. Oh my god, this, there's there's always gonna be that person. If I'm talking way too much, someone's gonna put a timestamp. I don't I don't even have to do that shit. So <laughs> enjoy the video. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. All right. Now a lot of you may know that I grew up next door to a kid named Michael, and a lot of you may know that. He was a big wussy crybaby, and I wasn't his biggest fan. But Michael didn't always live next door to me. Before he moved in, there was another kid that lived next door named TJ. Now, oh, TJ shit. was a couple years older than me, and he was cool as hell. I mean, his name is just a couple of letters, for Christ's sake. You have to be cool as hell if your name is just a couple of letters. And when I say this kid was cool, I mean he had, like, a vanilla ice poster on his bedroom wall. He had, like, every Nintendo game known to man. And to my little kid ass, that's what was cool back then. So needless to say, I was always trying to go over his house. Now, I remember one time in particular, I called him on the telephone one day to see if I could come over, but nobody answered because he wasn't home. So what did I do? Well, I called his ass like 400 more times. That's what I did. I was a little ass kid. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. His parents came home later that day like, what the hell, Barbara? We have 47 messages on our answering machine? Boop. Hey, it's the kid next door. Can I come over and play Nintendo? Boop. Hey, it's me again. Can I come over and look at your vanilla ice poster? Boop. Hey, it's the kid next door. I guess you're not home. All right. I don't know why, but when I was little, I was so scared to leave fucking voice messages on people's, like, answering machines. I don't know why. I w just something in my head was like, when people, when the, that voice little thing comes up, just hang up. I, and I think to this very day, I'm kind of the same way, but I kind of traverse to leaving voicemail sometimes if it's important, but I don't really leave voicemails. I, I know... A lot of the older people, like my mom and grandma, still leave me voicemails. I, I mean, we check them now, but I, I don't know. So I guess I'll call back in five seconds. Boop. Hey, it's the kid next door. Boop. Hey, it's me again. Boop. I know you're in there, goddammit. The next day, my dad comes in my room like, Hey, can you not call the neighbor's house four dozen times like you're some kind of psycho ex-girlfriend? They're gonna file a restraining order against your goofy ass. What the hell's the matter with you? So needless to say, it was pretty depressing when TJ moved out and dumbass Michael moved uh... in next door. Hell, I remember the first time I seen Michael. My friend David and I were looking out the window and we seen some kid wearing a Scotty Pippen jersey just digging in his ass crack. Oh, well, that's cool. That's the new neighbor. It's like I gotta live next to an ass picker for the rest of my life. Oh, Fantastic. No. So we walk out there to introduce ourselves. Hey, my name's Michael. Do you guys want to play with me? I got this broken squirt gun we can play with. Uh, yeah, I guess. You don't happen to have, like, a Nintendo or something, do you? No, my stepdad sold it so he could buy more Natty Light. I got a paint roller upstairs, though. <laughs> roller. What the hell's the matter with this kid? Uh, how about we just play baseball instead? So we start playing baseball in the street. Michael's stepdad is yelling at us from the house. Hey, Michael, where's your piggy bank at? I need to go get a pack of Marlboro Reds. Hey, and you better not break a window out there or you're gonna get 10 across the ass now after a few minutes of playing baseball we quickly found out that michael wasn't the brightest kid on the block for one he was easily distracted i mean the kid had a simple brain there wasn't much going on up there there's just like a fucking <laughs> dial tone drawn on in his head all right michael i'm ready throw the ball michael Hello? Are you listening? If you'd like to make a call, please hang up and try again. God damn it, Michael, what are you staring at? I'm looking at those squirrels rustling up in that tree. We look across the street, and there is a couple of squirrels in a tree, but they're not rustling. They're doing something much more uh, R-rated, much more intimate, if you will. The squirrels were fucking, is what I'm saying. They were fucking. <laughs> uh, Michael, I don't think those squirrels are rustling. Michael? God damn it, Michael, would you pay attention? You dare me to hug this baseball at him? Uh, Michael, I don't think that's a good... <laughs> 
Oh, no. Holy hell! Michael, you throw like a goddamn girl! So Michael totally obliterates this truck's window. The car alarms start blaring throughout the neighborhood, making all those weird sound effects and Make shit. Make a run for it! Run! What the hell did you hit, Michael? A goddamn spaceship? Hey, what did you do to my truck? You better believe your little Scotty Pippin ass is paying for that! What the hell's going on up? Fuck that. Hold on, before I con continue, has that ever happened to you guys? Were you just playing with a bunch of kids on the street and something happens and everyone just fucking just runs for it? That happens to me. That, that happened to me when I was younger, in my younger days. Never got caught. And hopefully they don't watch this YouTube channel. Out here, your son is. <laughs> or going to jail. <laughs> vandalizing cars all willy nilly. That's what's going on. No, I was just trying to hit those squirrels that are wrestling. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait a minute. First off, asshole, that's not my son. That's my stepson. Second oh. off, those squirrels are fucking, not wrestling. And third off, Michael, get in here. You're getting ten across the ass. Ah. Uh... Brewstew.com. Well, at least his. I was trying to find something to say something, like, I was trying to say something nice about Michael's dad, but I can't find anything nice about him. I mean, he's there, he's breathing. <laughs> I can never find anything good to say about Michael's stepdad. Literally, it's just, whatever comes out, just, poor, poor guy, poor, poor, poor guy, taking his piggy bank money to get some cigarettes. God damn, might as well not even return after that one. But, if, did you guys have any, like, people in your neighborhood that just kind of, the mall's open, but no one's shopping-ish? I, I, I had one. His name was, oh, uh, you know what, uh, I, I don't want to get sued, so. I'll just, I'll, his name was, um, his name is Ryder. His name's not really Ryder, but I don't want to really say his name. But, yeah, he, he would just. He got stuck in this big ass bush one time, and everybody was laughing at him, and he had to like get cut out of it. And it was it was kind of funny because I don't know, just a stupid kid. <laughs> like, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, remember, I love you guys, and I got you. Peace.